Hey guys, I finally did a few more pages in my Zentangle book, so in today's video I'm going to show you the next pages in The Art of Zentangle, and for any of you who haven't seen the first video, I'm going to put the link in the description box below. All you art and doodle lovers, stay tuned to the video, but if this isn't your thing, it's okay. I'm still going to be doing a DIY Friday for Crafty Friday. I'm going to be making some really cute candles. Until then, let's Zentangle. I feel like this is what a zen tangle would look like as a dance. I already went over the introduction and the first few pages of drawings in my previous video on zen tangling, so if you haven't seen that, like I said, the link is in the description box of this video, and then you can come back and watch the next few pages, which I'm going to show right now. There are four pages of these borders. There's a bunch of different shapes. Basically, the book gives you the top one as an example for all of them. So there's eight here, and I did the bottom ones as my interpretation, I guess, just whatever I felt inspired to draw. As you can see, I added color to the first drawing. I stuck with the rounded squares and rectangles, but I did add lines instead of dots to some of them, and the shapes aren't exactly the same. For the second example, theirs is totally straight, mine is a little bit curvy, and I put lines and dots on the outside. Here I decided to add color, and instead of doing dots inside every cutout, I did an outline and a solid, and I alternated between those. Here my flowers are a different shape and then I did this pattern instead leading up to a cute little quote that says love is in bloom because you know flowers bloom. I'm so clever, right? And an overview of the entire thing. This one at the top of the next page is very similar to the style of the first one that I showed. I pretty much followed their shapes and their lines, but I also added a few things of my own just to give it a little bit more style and flair. This is a leafy pattern. I, for some reason, felt compelled to put a bunch of random shapes in the middle and make mine a little bit shorter than the example. Here's one that was really quick and simple to draw, just a bunch of circles and some crown shapes. This one is also really simple to draw. I started with a squiggly line. Once I got to the end, I brought the line back around and started to form ovally or mountainy shapes. I'm going to do a quick example of it here. I know a lot of you always ask for me to show more on-camera drawings. The reason that I don't do a ton of those is because I like to relax when I do my Zentangle book or any of my drawings for that matter and I'm usually on the couch in my pajamas or I don't even know, just maybe in bed drawing, so... That is really bad. <laughs> okay, that's how to not do it, actually. See, this is another reason. Like, when I'm talking, I do not do the best. So you wanna intersect and make little ovaly guys at the peak and valley. Oh, I messed that. Well, kind of. I'm standing at a really weird angle, so I look really awkward drawing that. Then I would fill in random ones, and I'm not really taking my time on this at all, so I'm going out of the lines just to let you know. I would probably switch to a thinner marker at this point, or pen, it's a micron pen, but I do not feel like it right at the moment. Then I just add a little dots, and this one's so messy, but you get the idea. I'm trying to rush. Here we have a bunch of connected circles. There's bold and thin lined ones that alternate. It kind of looks like a mini rosebud chain, I don't know. Here, I switched back and forth between blank geometric shapes and textured ones. I made my drawing different from the example in this one by giving it more detail and by joining all the squares with a springy shape instead of the solid line. Instead of doing all of the same shaped flowers here, I alternated between theirs and a sunflower daisy type. By the time I got to this page, I was pretty bored of borders, but I'll go through them quickly. This is a swirly snail shell type deal, 
And the next one is different triangles, some with a solid triangle center and some with lines. Next, for some reason these remind me of ninjas or monster eyes. I did my dots going opposite ways instead of all the same. Finally, the biggest relief, no more borders. I finished this one by basically doing the same thing as their example but adding some little lines on the outside. I definitely enjoy doing square drawings like this and this a lot more than I enjoy doing the borders. Even though I found the borders to be slightly repetitive and a drag at times, they still are great practice and anytime you put your pen or pencil to paper and draw something, you're getting better and you're practicing and it's just helping you develop your drawing skills. That being said, I am beyond ready to get to bigger drawings and move on to the next pages. The next page is going to be Creatures and Sillies, which is this guy right here. I did draw my own silly. I'm gonna zoom in on him. My favorite part is the spiky fur that comes out around his eyes and the little antenna. I also drew a tiny bird, and I named him Herman, by the way, this guy. This page wants you to explore nature and find some interesting textures and shapes, such as cracks in a sidewalk, but I do not feel like waiting for a picture to print, nor do I have a good uh, Polaroid, so I did mine a little bit differently. Here I'm showing you my method for creating a textured picture. I took some acrylic paint and just splattered it onto a piece of paper and then I took another piece of paper and blotted it to pat it down and then I got this shape and I'm going to draw from this. I decided that one of the blobs of paint kind of looked like a seahorse so I went with that and did an underwater theme. The next drawings are larger ones. Next time I do an installment of my Zentangle series, you'll see me fill up the next few pages. I don't know how many and I don't know when it will be because I don't draw a whole lot. I don't have a lot of free time with you know all the videos that I do. So it just depends on my mood and when I feel like drawing and how much I get done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy seeing Zentangles, Doodles, drawings, let me know in the comment section below and I will try to do more when possible because as I said, I don't get a ton of time to draw with all the filming and editing and stuff that I do and taking care of my kitty kitty and all that. So yeah, I know it's been a while since the first installment. I had some footage in Leo's working with a cat video of me drawing during the Super Bowl. There was like a Super Bowl party at my house and I was doing my Zentangles while the guys were watching football. So that was a while back. Hopefully the third video won't take as long to get up but I can't make any promises. And I'm also thinking of starting my Wreck This Journal that I bought a while ago. So if you want to see that, let me know. I am going to stop talking. Just check out all of my links in the description box below to social media. And I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and then I'll see you on Friday. Bye. Like spaghetti arms. I carried a watermelon. Ha <laughs>